Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of Ultra Challenge. This is still the uh, Chalkin Challenge that we've got going on. We're still in the Earth stages, which uh, I hate the Earth stages, but whatever. So now I believe at this point we need the, um... Well, now I have no clue where to go. There we go. Hey! Roar! I don't know where I'm going. I feel like I'm hella doing this wrong. Okay, well, I'm dead now. Alright, so where do they spawn you? Right here? In this tube? Okay. I feel like I'd want the grappling hook for that. I mean, I looked and saw that none of the Earth levels really require the grappling hook. It's just like recommended that you have the grappling hook and okay well uh, that's just perfect okay hold on uh may as well just reset the level because uh you know there's no point for that um i think i'm going about this all the wrong way you know Like, I honestly just feel like I'm doing this all the wrong way. <sighs> okay. God. Oh, okay. This is... This is fine. I feel like I don't have to do any of this. God! God! Okay, some of this is like somewhat slippery, like... Like... Oh my god! Alright, yeah, I'm gonna reset the level. But, um... I feel like sometimes it's like like slippery platforming. Cuz sometimes when you like land on a platform, he doesn't just sit still, like he loves to toss himself in a different way. He loves to toss himself in a different way. And At least I made it up there. But, like, genuinely, this game is making me really pissed off. I'm just... Uh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. This is nothing but platforming. This is nothing but fucking stupid as hell platforming. And I want to quit. 
I feel like the objective is just you trying to get over there. Do we have something for the high jump? No. I'm gonna have to look up a video walkthrough just to know where the, what the uh, high jump spell looks like when I need to use it. Yeah, I don't think I should be doing this yet. Um I may as well just try to do the water stages now. Cause it seems like the more I do this kind of stuff, um you know. There we go. From the blackness of the deepest ocean it came. The one called a mantis created an evil blah blah blah. So this is the one level I was able to beat on my own, which is really weird, because usually I'm terrible at water levels. But of all the levels in this game that I could feasibly complete, like, I think, like, this and one of the Earth, and probably the first Earth stage, I was able to beat. Oh, okay. I think I see what the high jump spell is now. Enemies are just a pretty big nuisance. Well, I mean, except when they're fish. I don't like fish. I don't like enemies like that. I mean, I'd like to get these potions. I mean, that's really what I would like to get. I mean, I'm not trying to stress over anything, I'm just trying to get these gosh dang potions, you know, because apparently in the um, other plane, the potions are like insanely hard to get, like they don't give you, they give you like barely any. So it's just recommended in the early stages that you get as many potions as you feasibly can, but it's like... I don't know how when this game is a fine practi is one of the fine practitioners of dickerin. You know, which I mean, I've been exposed to some pretty hard dickerin in my life. Is the mini squid right here? Yeah, I believe the mini squid is, uh... There it is. Uh, let's switch over to the axe. Or I can die first. That's cool. I can just die first. Alright. So clearly I had no clue how to get those potions. So... Uh, uh, why do you get attacked on the first enemy? Why can that happen? Why can I get attacked by everything? You get blindsided by everything. Oh my god, oh my god, I sliced that thing like seven times. 
Like, why? I'm- I lose- I lose, like, five points of health before I even get to the squid. You take two guaranteed hits on that stupid fish man. Friggin' creature, the Black Lagoon, knock off. A oh, what the fuck? I am- I am so livid with this game. Like, you have no- you have no clue how absolutely frustrated I am with this fucking game. I mean, even if I just had 2 HP, like... See, that guy, he hurts you no matter what you do. See, I'm not gonna go over there for some potion. Oh my god. Alright, the squid is right here. Oh my god! I lose all my health before I even tackle that thing. I lose all of my health. Like, this game is so hard because the enemies take all of what you have before you can even begin to do what they're asking you to do. I'm gonna go back to the earth stages. Cause it seems like I just, I need to stock up on potions and whatnot. But in this level, I can't seem to get any potions. So it's like, it's a paradox. And of course, I didn't, I didn't jump. Because the way they want you to go is nothing but freaking tight ass platforming. With these stupid little mini explosions back and forth. Why does this game have knockback? That's the last thing it needed, was friggin' knock- The absolute last thing it needed was knockback. I don't feel like I'm going the right way. I'm just- I'm taking hits. There's no progress. I'm just slowly dying. Oh, it was right to this corner. So, I literally- So I may as well just restart this stage because I literally can't get anywhere. Like I yeah, I may as well just I may as well just die is that I'm over here. I may as well die so I'm over here because fucking there's no reason for this. Okay, so I can't get over there. Ah, okay. So there's a jump over there, but I can't seem to make it. I feel like I'm absolutely going about this the wrong way, but it's like... 
I have I have no other ideas. The entire level is set up for you to screw around in it. Otherwise, you just have to jump and jump and jump. All these levels are mazes. They're all mazes. They are all maze stages. They are just straight meant for you to get lost. However, guess where you're supposed to go? To the right. Uh... I feel like I wasted a green potion right there. Oh my god! So that was not the right, so that was not the right potion. Because that wasn't a high jump. That wasn't high jump. Oh, good. Kills you instantly. Real fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's real fair. I've spent 16 minutes making no progress. 16 minutes. No progress. I can't believe that thing is... I can't believe it's instant kill. I can't believe it's instant kill. I mean, wow. This game is just... It is... It is taxing on my being to even continue playing this game. Okay. That's invisibility. I feel like that's the high jump. Except, no, it isn't. So what the hell is it? Oh, I see it. I thought that was something else. Okay, so what potions does those does that one take? I don't know what potion that one takes. How? Okay. One blue and one clear. Okay. So n now I under now I understand what I'm trying to do. So there we go. I'm pretty sure by that logic, that's the high jump. Okay. Still didn't help me. Still not helping me to any degree. Yeah, it's not helping me at all. I can't clear this jump. Ah! Oh, you are kidding. These stupid gas thingies. These stupid freaking wall things. Like, honestly, I feel like I want to start this entire level over. Like, I want to start this whole episode over. But it's like, that would that would be a waste. No! No! I hate these things. Oh my god! That is absolute- They shouldn't be able to spawn- They shouldn't be able to go off off screen. But then once I get on the platform, it's- Faint! I get hit! So, like, I have to get up there, tease the thing. Like, look at this! All I'm trying to do is make a simple jump. It's a simple jump! It's just a jump! That's all I'm trying to do is jump up there. I think I lost the high jump. No, I didn't. Okay. God. Oh my god! You go off screen and it insta spawns. I can't, I can't avoid it. It's always there when I jump up. It's always there. So what? What am I supposed to do? Then throw on invincibility on top of it? Cause then I'm pretty sure once I take that potion, it's gonna need the other potion for it. So I don't even think it'll work. So let me just take, okay, look. two water, two blues. Yeah, so if I take an uh, 
If I take an invincibility, I can't use the high jump. Unless I find another one. So, basically, I have to play the other level again until I have, um, enough to use both the high jump and the invincibility. I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. It is making me absolutely livid. Just, wow. Like, this at least, I can find a blue potion halfway through, so I can at least use the invincibility on the squid. And then at that point, I'll have the grappling hook. See there. See there, I found two. God! These enemies, though! These enemies! I can't. I can't. I have to restart the whole stage. Restart. I have to restart because I take so many hits when the freaking stage begins. You spawn in. Enemy, 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 enemy. You just get, you get ganked as soon as you walk in. Just because they want to rush up, randomly spawn, and blindside you. Because you get such limited view of the screen. I mean, I could probably change the window size on my end. I don't need it to be this small, but like... Yeah, freaking... I play Mega Maker with a bigger screen. But it's just like... Ugh. Still, it doesn't help! And... These dragonflies are the are the worst thing in the world. They run in at a million miles an hour. And they come out as soon as you get out of the water. So if you don't want to deal with water physics and the frogs, you have to deal with dragonflies. So unless you want to deal with either one of the annoying enemies, there's nothing you can do about this. Unless you want to waste two more blue potions on invincibility. Okay, there. I found a green one. I found a green. There you go. So far, this has been the best run because I found that potion. No. GUYS! Alright, so I have to find a way to this stupid guy there without taking a hit. Alright, there. I at least took half da half a hit as opposed to a full hit. Now as opposed to losing all this life. Alright. Oh sweet Jesus, there's another one? Nah. Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, the frogs are the worst. Alright, so here comes the squid, right? There he is. Uh, I'm gonna use this. Or not. Alright, then you can just dice this guy apart. But you need to kill the squid so that you get rid of this uh, wall of seaweed coming up. There you go. Like that. And of course the frickin' invincibility runs away. So there you go. See, then that goes away. Then the wall uncovers itself, and then you get the grappling hook. There, we beat a stage. I absolutely hate life. I mean, should I just try to get the high jump level done? I mean, you know, screw it, we've been playing almost for 25 minutes. Freaking whatever. It's not like it matters anymore. Okay. I mean, I know which one's the high jump potion now, so I may as well just try to get it over with. All right, so anyway, I hate this level's design. It's disturbing me. You need the high jumps so that you get in here. Oh, 
Oh god, I have no idea how to grappling hook. Oh! Alright, I don't feel like I'm taking the right path. Well, then again, fake walls are everywhere. Wow, that's actually a really, really wide, um... Spin attack. Okay, there we go. Okay. Ooh. Okay. If this is like a permanent thing throughout the whole stage, the high jump, I'm gonna be so Well okay then. I guess I got I got past it. Oh hey, I don't know what I got, but I got it. I don't know if I should try to kill this guy. I don't think I should. Do I have enough for invincibility? I don't. Oh my god. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um... Crap. Is it this one? I don't want to use this potion, but I may as well. This one's supposed to help you with the squids. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Do you have projectiles? What the- Oh my god! Are you kidding me right now? Are you serious? It launches the tentacle and it hurts you? Jesus! I'll give this one more go, and if not, then I'll end the episode. But anyway, you have to use this potion in order to beat the level. Alright, switch to the grappling hook. Okay, well now I know why they call it the grappling hook. And it seems like the high jump goes for pretty much the entire level, so, you know. Well, not the grappling hook, the, um, high jump! Gifticality. I may as well try to attack that thing any opportunity I get. I mean, unless that's a death trap. I mean, you know. I mean, God knows how many death traps are in this for godforsaken game. Alright, what is this thing? I'll grab it. I don't know what it is, but I'll grab it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I should just- I think I should just leave that guy alone. Alright. And then I feel like this is the right thing to do. Just because I saw the guy in the walkthrough do this. Oh hey, potions! Nice! There you go. The more potions I get, the better. Alright, so I know there's another one. There you go. I have to start getting physical with these guys. I don't care. There you go. Ah. Okay. Whoa, there's an upside down one. I did it! I beat it! Nice! Okay. Oof. Just as long as I can get a few levels done in episode, I'm good. Alright. I may have to try that Earth stage again after looking up what to do, but I think I'm done with this game for tonight. So, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.